In this video, I'm going to show how to download, install uh, IntelliJ IDEA and uh, use it to create a Java web application with Servlet and JSP. So first go to jetbrains.com and uh, pick IntelliJ IDEA and uh, then download IntelliJ IDEA Ultimate. Uh, I have already downloaded here, and then go to tomcat.apache.org uh, and uh, select Tomcat 10, which is the current most recent release version, and uh, uh, download the latest Tomcat 10 version. We just need the zip file, and uh, I have download it already here. So the first thing we do is unzip Tomcat to a local folder. I Let's open it up first. And uh, I have a folder called CS3220, and I'm going to put it under there. OK. Now let's install IntelliJ. So there are a number of options here, whether we want desktop uh, shortcut, whether we want to add bin folder to pass, and so on. So I'm actually going to leave all of, all of those unchecked. OK, so let's try it. And uh, I already have a free education license, so I'm going to say activate it by logging into my JetBrains account. So one time password. Okay, so that is activated. And uh, so I think that means we have activated it. So let's exit and uh, restart IntelliJ. OK, so now let's create a new project. Oh, before we do that, let's look at plugins. I, I have GitHub Copilot, so, so let's get that one here. So GitHub Copilot, let's install this. And uh, yeah, let's restart. Okay, so this one needs update. Let's update that. OK, so now we will create a project. There are a bunch of project types on the left. The one we want to use is this one called Jakarta EE. And uh, the location is by default under the users folder. There's a bunch of, uh, uh, there, uh, it will create a folder called idea projects. 
let's let's just keep it there then and uh, we want a application not a rest service so pick web application here and uh, we don't have an application server so click new and uh, select tomcat server that's the one we just download it and uh, go to the folder where did i put it courses yes so this is the folder we used to uh used for the unzipped tomcat so select that and uh, select ok and uh, the language is going to be java we are going to use maven to build it uh, group id artifact id will talk about this when we talk about maven and uh, i actually don't have a jdk on my computer i so let's uh, download one uh, by default it's picking the oracle open jdk which is perfectly fine uh, if you are more concerned about oracle license which uh, by the way is fine now they used to charge money for um, a jdk license but uh, uh, right now uh, oracle's open jdk should be fine but if you are a little bit concerned about oracle you can pick the eclipse uh, tamarin tamarin not quite sure how to pronounce it or you can pick this one they, they should be pretty much the same so i'm going to just use the oracle open jdk one and uh, download okay so next we will create the application so by default it uh, uses jakarta ee 9.1 version which should be okay now uh, the important thing is to check which servlet version it's using is servlet version 5.0 so that's fine and uh, uh, leave all the rest unchecked we don't need any of the other stuff so create uh, click create and uh, this is copilot uh, and this is ai assistant uh, let's close it okay so now we have uh, this project opened and there are a bunch of synchronization errors every time i install intellij on a new computer i get this uh, downloading dependency errors so uh, what this means is basically that this is supposed to uh, we are using maven so uh, in the background it's supposed to download a bunch of maven dependencies automatically but i guess uh, it's not uh, uh, recognizing the downloaded dependencies but this should be fine uh, normally i'll just restart it and uh, the next time it it runs it should recognize all the downloaded plugins and uh, we shouldn't get all those errors again so let me see yeah so so this time it's it's fine and there's a tip let's close it and uh, let me see what's what does this say uh defenders are we, we it's choose automatically okay so we'll choose automatically so that it it updates microsoft defender configuration so that it won't affect performance okay so now we have this project uh, a web project and uh, uh, exactly how this thing works we'll explain more when we talk about web project and uh, just to try it we can click run 
and this should run this project. And it should open up our browser, open up our default browser and shows this. If we click on Hello Sermat, it shows another Hello World. So if you get to this step, it means your IntelliJ setup is ready for the class. Click this to stop and also stop recording.